I'm dressed up nice today so I can answer the one most important question that you're going to get during your next programming job interview. Now something you learned here today could get you a job. So if you like the content, initiate a mouse click over the like button and subscribe so you can get informed of new videos. And if there's a topic you want to learn more about, leave it in the comments. During a job interview, you're going to be asked why you're leaving your current job. Now if you're a college student and you haven't worked in the programming field, it's easy. Just say I'm graduating soon and I'm looking for work. But what if you have a job and you want to move on? You sure as heck might lose the job based on how you answer this next question. And during the course of your interviews, you're going to have to answer this question at least twice. So you have two opportunities to screw it up. At small to mid-sized companies, which is probably where you're going to apply, the hiring process is going to go like this. You usually have a phone screen with an HR rep. Then you'll have a phone screen with a medium to senior level software developer. If they like you, you'll probably be brought in for a panel interview with three people or so. One of those people is going to be a team leader. And these days, it could happen on Zoom, too. The HR person is going to ask you, so why are you thinking about leaving your current job? They're asking this now because if you answer incorrectly, they don't want to waste anyone else's time. Then in the panel interview, the team lead is going to ask you the exact same thing. So uh, why are you looking to leave CrapTech? because odds are he's hiring for his team and he doesn't want to bring anyone onto his team who's toxic. Now I've been a team leader and an engineering manager. I know why you're leaving your job. The top three reasons why people leave their jobs is they hate their boss, they hate their coworkers, or they don't get enough recognition. So as a team lead, I already know why you're leaving. I just don't want to hear you say anything negative. I'm not saying to lie, but don't say anything negative. Some good answers might be, well, I like my current company, but I've reached the limit of my promotions. Or, we're really primarily using ASP.NET Web Forms and we have no plans on moving to Web API. Or, we're in maintenance mode on a project right now and we're not doing any new development. Or, we just had a project end, so the work's been slow and I want to make sure that I'm leaving my options open. Those are all perfectly good reasons why you might want to leave. And I didn't say anything negative. Now let's see what you shouldn't say. Well, my boss is non-technical and really just stupid. Or, there's a lot of idiots running my company. Or, my ultimate goal is to start my own business. Or, I'm just bored here. Or, I'm not getting paid enough. I want to touch on that last one regarding pay. As a team lead, I pretty much know what the average salary of a programmer is. And I know how much I'm going to offer you. So if you're the kind of person who's going to leave your current job for $10,000, you would leave my job for $10,000. So just stay away from the subject of pay when it comes to leaving. Practice a short and honest reason why you're leaving your job so you'll be ready when they ask you that question. And good luck on your next interview. Well, at Craft Tech, we had a saying that when life hands you crap, make crap aid. Oh, crap aid. Wasn't that a benefit concert during the 80s? Yeah, I think it was sponsored by Metamucil.